Uh, ladies and gentlemen, good afternoon. I would be grateful if you take a few moments to listen to the following short safety announcements. On hearing the fire alarm, we would ask everyone to evac evacuate the building immediately. Please leave in a calm and orderly manner using the exits which are located at the front and the rear of the hall. Then make your way to the assembly point at the front of the physics building located at the car park side of the hall opposite the main building. We would ask you to remain there until instructed otherwise. Please do not attempt to re-enter the building even if the alarms have been silenced, as this does not always mean the emergency is over. Today, more than ever, I'd like to thank everyone for wearing a face mask. It is important to remind everyone that masks should be worn whilst in the hall, unless you're crossing the stage. I would also like to take this opportunity to ask you to silence all mobile phones now for the duration of this ceremony. In a, sh in a slight change to the published programme, names from the School of Law will be read today by Professor Robin Hickey. Thank you for your cooperation and we trust you enjoy your visit to Queen's University. A short university video will now be played. Seems to be a great way to separate yourself from the rest of the pack. Choose the employer you're engaged and you're, you're really interested in this area. Since becoming a postgraduate student, I have access to the graduate school. It's a gorgeous building. Please rise to receive the academic procession.
Good afternoon, everyone, and a very warm welcome on this very special occasion to graduates, to parents, to families and friends. I declare open this congregation for the celebration of degrees, diplomas and certificates. Please be seated. Members of Senate, fellow members of staff, ladies and gentlemen, guests, friends, may I say how delighted I am to have the opportunity of saying a few words to you this afternoon. And to our graduates, perhaps the most important people in the room, may I say welcome back. Our winter graduation has returned and this event is a celebration of your achievements and it's a really important part um, of, of our life in the university to be here and to mark this special occasion. You've already received your degrees, of course, but circumstances denied you the opportunity of the traditional Whitla Hall experience, of course, until today. When you began your journey in Queen's, you could never have imagined just how much life would have changed by the time that that journey ended. No one could have foreseen the global crisis that lay ahead and how it would impact on us all and indeed continue to impact on us for quite a period of time. But it makes me reflect on the words of our Queen's Nobel Laureate Seamus Heaney in his poem, Fosterling. So long for her to brighten time to be dazzled and the heart to lighten. Despite the dark days of the pandemic, today is most definitely a day for your heart to lighten as you celebrate countless hours of study and also your determination to succeed. In early 2020, normal life as we had known it was put on hold indefinitely. But let me pay tribute to all of the people of Queen's, to you and to my staff colleagues for the way you responded and that you adapted to this extraordinary situation and how you helped the work of the university to keep going. And we should all feel proud of the way in which the Queen's community contributed to the well-being of the wider society. I think of those hundreds of students across our health and social care professions who joined the workforce early to support the NHS. I think of our researchers engaged in clinical trials on vaccine development, working on research into new therapeutics and examining the, so the social impact of the pandemic. And also our student volunteers so many of you here who gave your time in all sorts of ways, running errands, making phone calls to the isolated and to the vulnerable. This is service to the community of a very high order indeed. It is a contribution to society that enhances the reputation of your university and it demonstrates vividly the meaning of our motto, pro tanto quid retu ambus. What shall we give in return for so much? University life can be very challenging and undoubtedly, there were some nervous moments over the past few years, especially at exam time. And then came COVID, presenting us all with stress of an, all in, an entirely different level. But you rose to that challenge too and the success you're celebrating today is a tribute not just to your academic ability, but it's also to your resilience. But there was help along the way. There was a team behind you. And I'm thinking of those individual members of staff, many of them on the stage today, who did so much to guide you through. And of course, your family, your friends, who were there to cheer you on and support you, often from the sidelines. 
they have all played a vital role in trying to get you to this point today. And I'd also like to recognise the work of the Students' Union and the officers who have been there to support you, as well as the university staff who have worked tirelessly uh, to organise and coordinate these celebration events over the past two weeks. Perhaps we as graduates could show our appreciation to those people who have supported us. Your education has helped you and will continue to help you to reach your goals, creating, sustaining and developing a world-class learning environment. These are the passions which motivate the people of this university at every level, every day. Our students are the lifeblood of our university and our graduates, you, you are the future of our society. You've accomplished a great deal during your years of study and you have every right to feel a sense of pride in that. You have knowledge and skills that will make such a difference to the lives of others. You have been well equipped for your future by your time at Queen's. And above all, you have learned to be resilient. Your ability to cope with adversity has been tested and you've come through. But leaving university isn't the end of something. It's just the beginning. This part of your education is over, but your capacity to learn and the opportunities to do so are undiminished. Or as the American president, Harry, Harry Truman, once put it, it's what you learn after you know it all that counts. So once again, many congratulations to you. I am delighted that we're having this opportunity to celebrate together and I wish you all continued success in your future careers. So would all graduates please rise. In the name and by the authority of the university, I confer on you and those whose names appear on the graduation list, the degrees, diplomas and certificates to which you are entitled and for which you will be presented by your individual head of school and dean of education. Please be seated. Pro Vice Chancellor, I present to you graduates for the degree of Doctor of Philosophy in the School of Law, Leanne Jane Cochran. <laughs> and for the degree of Master of Laws in Criminology and Criminal Justice, Hope Joanna Houston. <laughs> Lindsay Elizabeth Ann Norris. Kim Rebecca Leslie Brown. Andrea Ann Cross. Ellen May Ferris. Mary Todd Miles. Jennifer Rodashun. Rachel Renard, Rebecca Sarah Stevens, and in human rights law, Anna Harriet Dickinson, Niall Joseph Pollins, Lisa Marie Bradley, Connie Trudy Dalton. Megan Louise Edwards, 
Connor Patrick McCardle. Tiernan Charles McNamee. Jessica Vanessa O'Donnell. And in international business law, Charlie Johanna Kemp. <laughs> Mohammed Noer Alim Colby. <laughs> Tomislav Gilia. <laughs> and in international business law, including placement, Rachel Marie Goss. <laughs> and in law, Jordan David Leinster. <laughs> Daniela Suarez Vargas. <laughs> Kirja Cummings. <laughs> Philip Anthony Dolan. <laughs> and for the degree in Masters in Law, Rachel Louise McDonnell. <laughs> Christopher O'Donnell. Daniel John Scollin. <laughs> Holly Robin Ferris. <laughs> Robin Kitty Laird. <laughs> Curtis Trevor Price. <laughs> and for the degree of Bachelor of Laws, Karen Mary Teresa Mullen. Shane Patrick Coleman. <laughs> Lee Wen Yap. <laughs> Lee Xia Yap. <laughs> and Lee Hao Yap. Vice Chancellor, I present you graduates for the degree of Doctor of Philosophy in the School of Mathematics and Physics. Leonidas Asimakoulas. <laughs> Kiva Maria Maeve Bon. <laughs> Gareth Ian Borland. <laughs> Christine Elizabeth Collins. Catarina de Souza Figueira. <laughs> Cormac Brian Highland. <laughs> Hannah Louise Johnston. <laughs> Jennifer Mackle. <laughs> Philip Adam Martin. <laughs> Aaron Keith McCulloch. Abigail Claire Wardlow. And for the degree of Master of Science in Data Analytics, Lauren Ward Carr. Erica Jacqueline Chisel. Nadezda Demidova. Nikolaos Jorgantas. Minu Lei, George Robert Lloyd, Michelle Mulollan, Constantinus Pantelidis, Danny Simon, James Patrick Charles Wiltshire. Callan Hamill, Shonin Maria McCoy, and for the degree of Master in Science in Applied Mathematics and Physics, Jack Peter Cassidy, Dermot James Donnelly. Thomas Glackin, 
Joshua Morrow. Michael Sean Phipps. Chloe Maria Woods. Niall Brady. Ged Ikram de Rojas Rahman. For the degree of Master in Science in Mathematics, Usita Aruna Chalam. Carolina Eva Bednarek. Kyle Stewart Bones. Adam Rory Casey. Matthew Allen Clark. Olivia Rose Bridget Dalzel. Jack Ryan Gibson. Samuel Holst. Linda Ruby Atchison. Andrew Stephen Joyce. Daniel Allen Kane. Jamie Errol Lutton. Megan Patricia McNichol. Owen Dominic Monaghan. Claire Joanne O'Kane. Emily John Smith. Samuel Jonathan Trimble. Emel Yavuz. Grant William Beatty. Jack Daniel James Bradley. Adam Brown. Rebecca Mary Burke. Matthew Charles Clark. Neve Francis Cranny. Matthew McKay. For the degree of Master in Science in Mathematics and Computer Science, Jordan Anthony Diamond. Jude Riley. David Nelson. For the degree of Master in Science in Mathematics and Statistics and Operational Research, Olivia Dimpna Adair. Ben Collister. Vincent Cooley. Jonathan Wesley Henderson. Cathy Mary Quinn. Connie Callaghan. Matthew James Cavlin. Rachel Mary Wilkinson. For the degree of Master in Science in Physics, David William Robert Campbell. Neve Clark. Seth Charlie Cosgrove. James Michael Dalzell. Jarod Connor Goldie. Michael Estratius Klonzakis. Podrick Owen McGear. Sean Anthony McLaughlin. Matthew Normal Robinson. Andrew Rogers. Claudia Ann Beers. Onya Catherine Leonard. Matthew Adrian McCartan. For the degree of Master in Science in Physics and Astrophysics, Matthew McBee Dobson. <laughs> Chloe Mercedes Jen Lean Ho. 
Nathan Hughes, David Gerard Jackson, Scott Thomas Kerr, Keelan Luke McAllister, Thomas Moore, Cameron Sam Webb, Aaron Joseph McNamee, Megan Alana Morelli, Daisy Joy Pollock. For the degree of Master in Science in Physics and Medical Applications, Danielle Clark Doherty. Lydia Leif Gardner. Shannon Thompson. Amy Gannon. Kiran Oshin Lavery. Daniel Simpson. For the degree of Master in Science in Physics and Extended Studies in Europe, Matthew Joseph Rankin. For the degree of Master in Science in Theoretical Physics, Jessica Barr. Stuart Thomas Colgan. Adrian Gerard McKay. And for the degree of Bachelor in Science in Mathematics, Amy Carson. <laughs> Laura Jane Elliott. Andrew James Gray. <laughs> Catherine Mary Hassad. <laughs> Maeve Margaret McElroy. <laughs> Catherine Elizabeth McC McConnell. Lydia Mills, Kieran Michael O'Sullivan, Ellen Victoria Patterson, Bethany Ruth Proctor, Peter William Reed, James Peter Wilson, Ryan David. Joseph Adair, Adam Matthew Barr, Christine Divine, Kieran Vincent Dobbin, Kieran Guthrie, Marie Angela Cavana, Sean Patrick Kinnelty. Vienna Bridget McAloon, <laughs> Maria McLaughlin, <laughs> Bronach O'Neill, <laughs> Kiva Jennifer Stewart, <laughs> Dina Francis Haven, <laughs> Sarah Ann McCloskey. Joshua Thomas McKenna, Jordan McShane, Amy Kate Moore, Matthew Patrick Michael Robson, Wing Feng Chan. For the degree of Bachelor of Science in Mathematics with Extended Studies in Europe, Adam Thomas Wilson. <laughs> Alice Christine Gillen. <laughs> Liam Lynch. <laughs> Connor Paul Mullen. <laughs> Emily Ann Murphy. Orla World. For the degree of Bachelor of Science in Mathematics with Finance, Chloe Mary Baston. 
Dylan Cowan, Stephanie Jane Daly, Roshin Ferris, Devon Jane Gilmore, Savannah Ruby Thompson, Emer Roseanne Carey, Ellen Lauren Egerty, Michael John Thompson, Edine Ward, Ryan Garnett Walsley, Matthew David Hamill. For the degree of Bachelor of Science in Physics, Mark Connor Cunningham. Mark Hamilton, William Connor McIlwain, Cathy Mary Daneen Rice, Aaron Mark Spence, Eloise Gold, Rachel Le Lively. For the degree of Bachelor of Science in Physics and Astrophysics, Daniel Miller, Connor Thomas Donaghue, Patrick James McManus, Aston McPherson, Craig Dorman. Aidan Robert McGuinness, Martha Groves Osborne. For the degree of Bachelor of Science in Physics and Medical Application, Hannah Louise Marshall, Andrew Daniel Robson, Marcus James McCrea. For the joint honor degree in Applied Mathematics and Physics, Devla Mary Quinn. <laughs> Eve Bannon. <laughs> Neve Mary McGinnity. <laughs> Caitlin Mary McPollin. <laughs> For the joint honor degree in Mathematics and Computer Science, David William Beatty. Sarah Mays. For the joint honors degree in Mathematics and Statistics and Operational Research, Simon Andrew Johnston. Kira Ann McAleenan. Congratulations again on reaching this very significant milestone. We have enjoyed the privilege of sharing this celebration with you. As a university, we are genuinely extremely proud of what you have achieved. And we hope that you're proud of your university. As a graduate, you will always remain part of the Queen's community. Please genuinely stay in touch with the university through the Development and Alumni Relations Office and make the most of the opportunities that are available to you as graduates. At the opening of this ceremony, I, I drew on a quote by Queen's Nobel Laureate Seamus Heaney. And in closing, I would like to leave this, you to leave this university hall today and as you continue your life journey, I would like to draw on a quote from another Nobel laureate, not Seamus Heaney, but Bob Dylan. 
and it's maybe the parents that will know this better than, than uh, the, the graduates. Bob Dylan and his song, Forever Young. And it says in there, may God bless you and keep you always. May your wishes all come true. May you always do for others and let others do for you. May you build a ladder to the stars and climb on every rung. May you always know the truth and see the light surrounding you. May you always be courageous, stand upright and be strong. May your hands always be busy. May your feet always be swift. May you have a strong foundation when the winds of change shift. May your heart always be joyful. May your song always be sung. And may you stay forever young. Congratulations again. You deserve your success. And I wish you every success for the future. And I very much look forward to hearing about your achievements over the coming years. I declare close to this congregation for the celebration of degrees, diplomas and certificates. And I invite our graduates to join the academic procession as it leaves the hall. Parents and friends should wait until the procession has left. Queen's Alumni Office was established to ensure that the relationship between graduates and alma mater becomes lifelong. Many people will have forged lasting personal and professional friendships while at Queen's and the ongoing alumni outreach programme aims to keep Queen's men and Queen's women in touch with the university and of course with each other. In time, alumni will make return visits to Queen's for reunions, public lectures, social and academic events, and perhaps further study. It's particularly important to stay in contact if careers are pursued overseas, and for this reason, Queen's now has a number of graduate organisations based both here in Northern Ireland and throughout the world in Canada, America, the Far East, Africa and Northern Europe. So, graduation should not mark the end of your association with Queen's. Through the alumni office, those friends, contacts and memories can last a lifetime. <laughs>